Good morning, sweet ladies. Thank you for joining us in Far Above Rubies today. I'm so very glad that each of you are here. We are walking through four topical studies this month in our group, and today we are focused on the Beatitudes. We're going to take a look at Matthew chapter 5, verses 3 through 10, and today's special focus will be on verse 3. It says this, God blesses those who are poor in spirit and realize their need for Him, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. To be poor is defined as being in need of, being in need of. We can become so blessed in our walk with Christ, in our day to day, in the, the doing of things that we can forget our need for the one from whom all blessings flow. Social media, friendships, um, successes, highs in relationships, accomplishments, burying broken feelings underneath piles and mountains of just stuff. These things can all make us forget our need for Jesus Christ. When we are succeeding in life, when we're doing well on our job, when we have enough likes, when we have enough shares on Facebook or enough loves on Instagram, whenever we have enough friends compiled in our social media world, those things can make us forget that we need Jesus. And so what Jesus is telling us here on this beautiful Sermon on the Mount scripture is that he blesses those. He gives an inheritance of the kingdom of heaven to those who realize their need for him, their need for him. How long has it been since you acknowledged your need for him? If the answer wasn't sometime today, then you need to stop for a moment and make sure that you do that. Make sure that you acknowledge your need for Jesus. We all, whenever we come into relationship with Jesus Christ, acknowledge a need for Him. Whenever we repent or turn away from our sins, when we are baptized in the name of Jesus, whenever we receive His Holy Spirit, those things are a moment. That's a moment in our lives where we acknowledge a great need that we have for Jesus Christ. But oftentimes, after that initial experience, we, ex we can walk in such a high moment, we can walk on that mountaintop in relationship with Him that we start thinking we can do things all on our own. We start thinking that we are able to do things with the talents and gifts that He's given us and not lean on Him. We live in a world that tells us we must be self-reliant, especially as women. It screams at us, we must be self-reliant, ladies. But that's not what the Word of God says. The Word of God says that we need to daily rely on Christ. We need to daily turn to Him, the author and the finisher of our faith. We need to daily turn to Him and say, Jesus, I need you. Jesus, I need you. I might be strong in some ways, God, but I am nothing without you. I am weak where you are strong, God. I acknowledge, Jesus, my need for you. I am poor in spirit. My spirit, what does that mean? Poor in spirit. It's a term we don't hear very often. Poor in spirit means my spirit in and of itself is not enough. It doesn't cover it. It doesn't cover what I need to get through the day. My spirit in and of itself does not have everything that it needs to make it through this life, through this week, through this journey of motherhood that I'm personally on, through my marriage day to day, through this health crisis. crisis. My spirit is not enough. I am poor in spirit. I am in need of something else within my spirit. And God, I know that you are the answer. I know that you are what I need. I know that you come in and you fill all my gaps and you strengthen my weak places, God. You make the crooked places straight. You are what I need. So this scripture, this Matthew 5 and 3, it's a very simple thought, but it's Jesus telling us that he wants us to desire him. He wants us to acknowledge our need for him, not just yeah, I yeah, I might need Jesus. Maybe maybe tomorrow I could need Jesus. Maybe tomorrow I will need that relationship with him. Maybe some other time, but what he's saying is he wants us to acknowledge consistently, faithfully, a need to have Him in our lives, a need to have Him at the helm of our ship, at the steering wheel of our car, letting Him guide and direct, letting Him lead, because we need Him. We need Him. Go and read Matthew chapter 5, verses 3 through 10. We're in this for a few more days. Make sure that you uh, come back and tune in tomorrow. I want to be here with you and dive into the Word of God once again, okay? 
If no one has told you lately, you are loved and you are cherished and you are valuable. You have beautiful and tremendous worth, my friend, and that worth is far above rubies. Don't let your worth, your realization of self-worth, make you feel like you should be self-reliant and not depend on God. God bless you and I will see you all again tomorrow.